Good morning, Beach Bros. Welcome back to the beach. Today I'm doing, if you can see it, I don't know, it's still dark. I'm doing some flounder gigging this morning. It's the wee hours of the morning. And gonna see if I can get a legal flounder or two to take home and cook up because if you follow the channel, you know I can't catch a flounder on hook and line, so I'm just gonna see if I can stab one. So <laughs> I've hooked myself up with the light and I've got a gig that I'm borrowing from a buddy and I'll go over, cause I know I'll get questions about this. I'll go over my light that, I, that I've got now that I just purchased uh, after I get done gigging. I'll show you at the house. Let's see if we can find some fish. And I picked me up a flounder light at a local bait and tackle shop sam's here in town i've got maybe another hour or so before the sun comes up the wind is not really in my favor it whoo, it's supposed to be coming out of the north and it is mostly but there's a lot of east in it too got a stingray right here coming up see him right there scurrying off see you buddy Got one up here. He just moved. Got him. Got him. There we go. Yes! Got a fish. Got a flounder. First one of the night. Heck yes. All right, I just measured him. He's 15 and a half. Good fish for our area. We don't get a lot of the big ones, so that's a good one. First fish on the stringer. It's kind of hard doing everything by yourself. This is the first time I've gigged on my own it's definitely helpful to have somebody with you depending on what part of the country what part of the world you're in that uh that's probably not a big flounder i know in different areas you get really big ones but here they we just don't get those massive ones as consistently oh here's another one right next to the beach i, I just walked like not very far that one looks kind of small. Yeah. I don't think that one's legal. I'll jump him. Yeah, that one's kind of small. Yeah, not legal. But that's cool. We're see we are seeing fish. Those are the first two like decent ones I've seen tonight. So what I'm doing, I've got this light behind me. This is a trick that I learned from my buddy that took me and it does make it easier to see because what, what I'm looking at when I'm doing this is I'm actually looking at the edge because right on the edge of that that line is usually where you'll see them kind of the back sticking up a little bit you'll just see kind of a different something different in the terrain you'll see them kind of coming if you put it out in front of you I mean it, even if you angle it or that that glare from the light Kind of, it's a little too bright so if you put it behind you you can actually see better with the brightest part of that light not in your in your vision there's a tiny one hey oh there he's digging down <laughs> small guy there he goes there he goes there he goes <laughs> little guy it's, it's just cool to see fish i told you i'd go over my lights and gig so i just picked this up at a local tackle store this is the company that i'm using coastal flounder lights looks like they've got a facebook page they just must supply directly to this store they've even got a number looks like you can call john there's his phone number right there if you want to give him a call or damon <laughs> i don't know these people i'm just uh i used it and it, and it was really cool this is a 5000 lumens light so it's pretty bright it's just got the leads coming off here that you hook to this battery. This is a 12 volt battery. And you just hook these guys up, pretty simple. And boom, you got your light on, which it's uh, really super bright. And this is a bamboo gig. My buddy Dusty let me borrow it. This is not mine. And it's just got the, the spearhead or whatever you call it on here. Um, B and M spears, number seven, whatever that means. But it's got five, stabbers prongs whatever you want to call it 
I don't know the terminology here, but you can see what I was using and that was it. And I uh, really liked the light though. I'm pretty stoked about that. And I just had that in my book bag, hooked it up, uh, super easy to use. It was comfortable. I did really like the light. So I don't know if you can, I don't, I don't know if you can go call those guys or what, but it's a, it's a good light. Thumbs up. I'm going to get our flounder cleaned up and I'm no expert fish filleter, especially when it comes to flounder, but I'm just going to show you what I do. If you know how to play flounder, this video is not for you. This is just so people that maybe have never done it can see, get an idea of what to do here. But what I do, I feel for this little pocket. This is their, their intestines. And I'm just going to cut at an angle right above that and then right towards the head. Um, I probably could have cut back some there, got some of that meat. So I probably should have rounded that out a little bit, but that's okay. We're, we're good. And then from here, we're just going to follow the backbone like we would any other fish. Get that cut started and then just ease right down that backbone. I'm going to go ahead and peel this up and look at what I'm doing. I poked through a little bit on the other side, so I'm trying to work around that. Try to avoid that if you can. Again, like I said, I'm no expert flounder filleter, <laughs> but I get the job done. Just get the meat. Obviously, you want to get as much as you can on these fish. So you want to make good cuts. See, so I, I just poked through, which is okay. We're not going to lose any meat there. Just kind of made my job a little harder for me. Okay, I'm gonna point out something. I'm gonna stop. I could have just, you know, cut right through there. I've never seen anybody talk about this with flounder on, on a flounder cleaning video. Maybe you've seen it, I don't know. They've got this little, I don't know if this is their pea sack or what. I don't I don't know as much about fish anatomy or the anatomy of animals as it probably should. But whatever that is, I'm pretty sure it's pea. It smells really bad and it will make your meat just smell and taste bad. So you don't want to cut that and get it on the meat. So I try to work around. Okay, that worked out perfect. I was just able to pull that over. So I don't even have to cut that. So be careful is right down here at the bottom. You want to try not to puncture that, which I might've yeah, actually cut through it right there. So, but I, I don't think any of that got on the meat. I think we're good. <laughs> you want to be careful with that joker right there. And continuing with the white side, I always start with the white side first. Just going to remove the meat from the skin. And I needed to sharpen my knife, but it's still early and my wife and daughter are still in bed. So I couldn't run my sharpener because <laughs> it's kind of loud. And they've got a real small section of pin bones. I just go ahead and split that filet right down the middle. And then you'll see there's like this little extra section right here. And if you just remove that, you'll see it. That's the bones. So really beautiful filets. That's the thinner side. The camouflage side has thicker fillets on it. This is a little more meat on this side. So same thing, we're gonna split that fillet and you don't even have to cut it. It just comes right apart. I'm gonna cut right there <laughs> just to make sure I don't rip it. And then again, they've got this little extra section right here. And I just removed that. There's a few bones in that. And man, oh man, look at those two juicy fillets that is going to be delicious that's plenty of, of fish for me and my wife one average size flounder i gigged us a delicious flounder cool sounds good we don't get flounder very often are you stoked i am yeah it's it's like a treat because i don't catch them i'm not very good at flounder fishing as i talk about it you know it's it's a tough fish to catch so Usually we don't get it unless I get an opportunity to actually go gig them, which uh, has only been a couple times. So, yeah. yeah, I'm gonna do it one of your favorite ways. We're gonna do a little lemon butter sauce. Mm. It's like one of the best ways to cook flounder, in my opinion. Sounds good. I am not a chef and don't claim to be. I try to keep things simple in the kitchen. And this is just gonna be for lunch. So we're gonna do this real easy. All this is, is just flour, salt, and pepper. And I'm just going to put that on the fish first. Mm. 
This is Courtney's contribution. <laughs> Mac and cheese. That's right. My <laughs> specialty. I just use one lemon and use the juice from it. This is going to be for later for our lemon butter sauce. I've just got a little bit of olive oil in here and dropping them in. Love the sizzle. That's a decent sized flounder. I didn't think it would take up this whole pan, but it just about did. Once you get this golden brown crust to it, this is really hard to do with one hand. You go ahead and remove the fish and then we're gonna make our sauce. I broke that piece, had a casualty. Yeah. I removed the pan from the heat. I'm gonna put the butter and our lemon juice from our one lemon. I turned the heat down to low. We got our butter melted in our lemon butter sauce. And go ahead and put the fillets back in. I'm gonna let them soak. Just gonna let those fish marinate in that sauce and let it soak it in. Ooh, it's so good. Look how delicious that looks. I drizzled some of that sauce over the fish. Woo, on our nice paper plates. What do you got to eat there? Is that a hot dog? We're chicken. Chicken? I love our macaroni and cheese paper plates with our delicious piece of fish. Yeah, mac and cheese. You do too? Mm -hmm. You do have we mac and have cheese. Two. Yeah, we all have mac and cheese. You, you want to take first bite? It looks good. This is my favorite way to eat fish. I too. Yours too? I'm going to get a little bit of chicken. Delicious. No, so two, good. Two thumbs up. Mm -hmm. Chicken? We don't have any chicken. You chicken. want to try a bite of this? No. What? Let me take a bite. Just yeah, a try it. Bite. Come on. Mmm. It's so good. It's yummy. very good. I think oh you'll God. like it. It's delicious. Oh, no, 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 no. And I know this one's gonna be good, but gonna do a bite. Man, flounder is a delicious fish. This is a great way to cook fish. Mmm. That is so good, man. It's definitely good. It's good. That's right. <laughs> it's definitely one of my favorite ways to cook fish. Like, and I think it is Courtney's oh, yeah. favorite. Oh yeah. That this is this is numbers. It's hard to get us all in <laughs> shot there. That, this is your number one, right? Oh yeah, definitely. Well, thank you so much for watching the video, flounder gigging. Even <laughs> though uh, we're not we're not telling a bye just yet. <laughs> we gotta wait just a second. <laughs> It's one of my favorite things to do. I haven't done it a lot, but it is so much fun, especially when you get an opportunity to come home and eat flounder. It's delicious. But guys, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, smash that subscribe button. And as always, you stay.